Um, I did not prep you on kind of the concept of the show, but it doesn't really matter because I know you know your stuff. It's not like you're going to come in here and it would be weird. Um, when I say men's amateur boxing award for this year, who's the best male fighter in any division, amateur boxing, uh, who comes to your mind? Um, you know, it, like you said, I didn't, I didn't prep for that, like you said, but I mean, if I, if I had to say the male amateur boxer that I, I would consider like the best of the year, hands down. Jamal Harvey, he uh, not only was he has he been dominant state statewide here and uh, nationals and all that, but he went overseas and really really uh, set you know just just made a statement made a statement over in Serbia with the rest of the uh, the team out there, but he came back with the belt. He uh, he, he defeated the the defending champion, I believe, in his bracket, uh, and is overall just a superstar. I'm, I'm excited to see what comes next. So just to piggyback on that, he beat, I believe, off the top of my head, three different Olympians en route to winning his first ever international tournament. He, won, he wins his first international tournament the first time he fights internationally. I believe himself and Omari Jones were the two youngest members of this team, Basically, Jamal Harvey, through my eyes, every year in USA Boxing, we get whispers of a great fighter. It's been Errol Spence Jr., then it was Shakur Stevenson, then it was Keyshawn Davis. Jamal Harvey feels to be the next version of the great American amateur boxer, who I think those who are in the know are extremely excited about the potential of this fighter. And I feel like even though one could say Keyshawn Davis or Richard Torres won medals, mm -hmm. I think even including them who are now pro Jamal's run of winning his tournaments and then internationally getting a gold medal, which begs the question, how do you think he would have done if he had competed at this year's Olympics? That's a, that's kind of a question I I'm curious about too. Yeah, uh, I think we'll get our shot at seeing him in the Olympics. I think he uh, is kind of going along the amateur route as far as, uh, as opposed to, you know, going pro or anything like that. I think he has a lot that he can do in the amateur game and really, you know, uh, just leave, leave a footprint for, for a lot of people to, to kind of follow. I just think he's, he, he, he knows the game. He, he, he goes in and out. He, he, uh, he has a lot of power. He, he's just very aggressive and um, it's exciting. You know, when you think amateur boxing, he would be the person that I would point for somebody to look at if they're just getting into the sport. Just check out Jamal Harvey and, and you'll get a good sense. And I mean, the guys he was fighting, he was fighting, uh, he fought Merzabek, Merbia, I can't even say his last name, from Uzbekistan. He was the number one seed in the Olympics. Yeah. Beats him, but not just as Jamal Harvey beat him. He sits on the rope, sets traps. He's catching him coming in with exchanges. These are things you don't expect from a young fighter. He's fighting poise like a veteran. Exactly. I think uh, when you look at the nationals that just uh, happened a week or two ago, um, the big factor on a lot of those elite matchups was experience. Uh, Jamal has that experience and he's just getting started at the elite level it's it's kind of you know begs the question like what you know three four five years from now how would you expect them to, to what level to be so uh he's exciting he's, he would be my number one right now even though there was a lot of standout boxers uh this past year that uh they did you know very well in their own rank What's up everybody, it's your good friend Lukey and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video, and also if this is just a single video and you're saying where's the full interview, look at the upper left hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, 
but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.